Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. The murder trial for James Huffman IV continued today in Letcher County Circuit Court. Huffman is accused of stabbing 24-year-old Michael Shane Hogg to death on New Year's Day 2014 in Whitesburg. The trial was delayed yesterday due to weather. The prosecution continued presenting witnesses this morning, with the majority of those witnesses being law enforcement officials. Kentucky State Police Sergeant Billy Pollard, who was a detective at the time, told the jury he arrived at the scene around 3.45 that morning. He was allegedly told by dispatch there had been an assault. He said when he arrived on scene, he was focused on the Jeep Grand Cherokee and said all four tires on the vehicle were flat. He helped at the scene, gathered evidence, and also placed Huffman's alleged partner in crime, 31-year-old Patrick Smith, in handcuffs. When I threw Patrick Smith up I, and placed him in handcuffs, I observed what appeared to be blood on his hands. And then uh, a few moments later, uh, Detective Collins advised that he had seen what he thought was speck of blood on uh, Mr. Huffman's hand. While handcuffing Smith, Sergeant Pollard said he told authorities he had knives. Pollard told the jury one knife had blood on both sides of the blade, while the other knife at the scene did not have any blood on it. Kentucky State Police forensic fingerprint analyst Fred Crane also took the stand. He allegedly examined the two knives found at the scene and a fireball whiskey bottle. In this particular case, on that particular piece of evidence, no, there were no prints of death. The trial will continue tomorrow. There is currently no estimate for when it might wrap up. In Whitesburg, Shelby Porter, EKB News.